So usually it's the civil engineer and the soil uh, soil engineer that decides how much of the paving. But uh, there are sometimes, like San Bruno, I'm working on one project where I was asked to do the drainage details just to make sure that it's adequately draining away from the house. Because, mm. you know, a lot of times when we build huge retaining walls and the retaining wall does not drain adequately, then it um, creates like risky situations either for the retaining wall to fail or if the soil is not strong enough then the soils engineer had to get my details and he you know they had to sign off on it and this was the only project that i worked on that needed that yeah i think it's a little bit of a moving target and they still are refining the systems that they're using you know, this whole thing of, of retaining water on the site and releasing it at a rate as if there had never been any development on the site at all it sounds good but like they just really weren't using their heads and they would you know, say that it had to be that way on the slope and like literally they had whole buildings moving down the hillside because the slope got saturated. So it's a little bit of a mm. learning curve at the moment and you know, hopefully they, over time things will get better but right now it's pretty difficult. Yeah. And a lot of the planning departments actually require like construction yeah. document level before you can even get entitlements on the project. Well, anybody else have any questions? How, how would you stay updated with uh, types of paving? What do you do? Visit the, for example, Peninsula Bay materials. I've been there. But what else do you do to visit uh, shows? or? Um, I, do, I do go to, I think a few years ago, I was at, um, I think it was uh, PG&E had a expo and I saw like they had different types of permeable pavers and you know they had all demo areas showing the you know water absorption uh, but yes I, when I start off on a project while the design is uh, the owner is selecting products Mm -hmm. I, I go to Peninsula Building Materials or one of the other showrooms and sometimes even through contractors like I, I think Armando told me about uh, what is that grass creek or granny creek so there are some products that are that I may not have used that some of my contractors have used okay and then if you use granite creek as a driveway yeah we did a driveway in the city of Palo Alto about a year ago which is the finish turned out well was it more Gra expensive? No, I mean, Granite Creek is, from what I've researched, the only place that sells it and developed it is Granite Rock. I know they've, all, they've used it in projects in San Francisco they've done, and it's, it's pretty well. It's just expensive, yeah. One thing is it's more expensive, the sand, and then the um, bags you have to mix in there mm -hmm. compared to just regular DG. Okay. I think you're spending about, with them, you're spending, if you already want them to mix it for you and everything, you're spending about 120 a yard. Sorry, 150. Yeah, 150 after mix after mixing it a yard. Compared, if you just buy it at the store, and you mix you just mix basic ones, or you put the little sealer on top. You're spending roughly from 80 to 100 dollars. Does granite creek um, hold up as well as uh, does Does it hold up better than uh, decomposed granite? It hold. Yeah, it. I've we've used it in a couple projects, basically in all our projects, and it does hold a bit better. Hold in, in the sense it doesn't run off, like it doesn't, like over time it kind of binds better? Yeah, it just binds, well, it binds better if you're, if you're using it properly. Like in a project we did with Rohina Kelly's project, her dog is just destroying it. But other from there, everything else is pretty well. Okay, so all my uh, walkways are usually decomposed granite. I, I don't use pavers as much because it's much less expensive compared to, you know, paved uh, walkways. Do you stabilize it? Sometimes, yeah. I, I get requests for like clients that are picky. They don't want their dining rooms to be messed up by gravel. So uh, on one job in um, Hillsboro, I did recommend a stabilizer. But they didn't do, like most of the walkways, they did pavers. And only a few of, you know, a couple of places they used uh, stabilized decomposed granite. I like to not use the stabilizer because it's so much easier to maintain. I feel like once the stabilizer is involved, it's like done. <laughs> and when it cracks, it's much harder to make look new again. Do you find the same yeah, thing? Yeah, sometimes. Yeah, sometimes I feel like it makes it look like uh, concrete almost. Yes. Like remember yes. Armando, the, the Burlingham job, it looks like concrete. Yeah, at the end of the day, we have to compaction and you level it out. It looks like a finished concrete um, base. And some of the older jobs, I felt like it got like a little bit of a moldy look, like a greenish yep. uh, cover on top. 
because it's not draining as well. Yeah, it's kind of, uh, and it's, uh, I think part of it is like these dining areas have to be kind of level and not as sloped, but if it was slope, you know, if there was better uh, slope, it wouldn't have that greenish tinge on top. Okay, so I felt like I was the outsider without the stabilizer, but <laughs> um, I was just wondering if anybody else is pro stabilizer and why. Uh, it's only based on the client's request. They, you know, a lot of times they're just fussy about getting sand in the house. And that's the most common request I have. Oh, we don't like decomposed granite because the sand gets in the house. It's, I think the decomposed granite is too heavy. It's not as light as sand. So the, uh, the, the ones that have it flows off, yeah. Yeah, and the ones that have installed it have never complained about, sand, about it getting into the house. Do you have a rule about how close to the house you'll go with it? No, usually if there's like two or three steps and I suggest like a couple of homes, there was like a small patio and I recommended they have like a heavy like a doormat or something prevents it from going to the house. I don't usually say, okay, it has to be like a walkway that's, you know, further away from the house. Do you, do you use any guidelines? For me, I've avoided decomposed granite, actually, for all those reasons, because the first thing out of the client's mouth is, oh, I, you know, so I don't, I just do three-eighths crushed, usually. And then under tables and stuff, I'll put large flagstone. So they're mostly walking on the flagstone, and then it just sort of visually looks like gravel in the field. But I would be interested in being able to, you know, confidently suggest DG again, because I just haven't. I know a lot of people use it. I'm, I've just been afraid of it because I felt like everybody was stabilizing it and I knew I didn't like that look. Mm -hmm. um, so maybe I'll rethink it. Yeah, I, I always suggest, I, I think part of it is in Houston, DG is very, very popular. So whether it's DG or Black Star or Limestone Gravel, most people go with gravel. I wonder if that's because they have such huge spaces, you know? <clears throat> yeah. Part of it is the huge spaces and the other thing is the soil is so clay and compact and it's nice to have something that drains well. Well, we've so, got that. Yeah. <laughs> you would think it would be popular here, but I have a difficult time convincing people. Of yeah. It. yeah. It's interesting because it's in every Sunset magazine. So you would think people would be more. <laughs> yeah. Accepting and you don't there. get... You don't get limestone gravel here. It's not as easily available. So it's not something I spec. Usually black star gravel is more, you know, Are you, We call it crushed black basalt, I think. Is that what you mean? Yeah. Okay. And then, so uh, would desert gold, how would that look in comparison to the limestone? Because I don't think I've seen the limestone. I've always been here. Oh, limestone looks really nice. It's got a creamish white it kind of brightens the whole space up, makes it look lighter. It's uh, And you can tell it's, it's a richer material. It's, I think, slightly more expensive than other crushed gravels, but it's mm -hmm. got a very nice look. But I haven't found suppliers here who offer that. 